What's up everybody? Welcome back to Thrive Fitness in Ann Arbor. Today I'm gonna to do a follow-up video on the running video that I made a few weeks ago. In the last video, I discussed all of the proper running form cues and how to run properly with good form versus bad form and common mistakes to avoid. In this video today, I'm going to teach you how to train yourself to run properly and train the proper running muscle groups by showing you a couple new drills on the treadmill that you can utilize to maximize your running performance. Remember, a proper stretching regimen is required to run with proper form and correct posture, along with a proper lower body and posterior chain strength training regimen, which is the back side of the body. Make sure to check out my video on how to stretch to utilize all of the proper stretches needed to run correctly and to keep your body healthy. Be sure to watch our videos on how to do lunges and squats correctly with many different variations. We'll be releasing a video on deadlifts soon as well with many variations, so be on the lookout for that one too. Since your hamstrings and your calves are the primary pulling muscle groups in running that allow you to pick your feet up, the drills I'm gonna show you today are excellent for the activation of your calves and hamstrings versus heel striking, which causes unnecessary breakdown in the shins, causing shin splints along with plantar fasciitis, hip pain, knee pain, and lower back pain. When you get on the treadmill, I want you to set the incline on the treadmill to at least five. And for those of you who are advanced runners, you can increase the treadmill as high as 10 or 15 gradually, as long as you can maintain great form and posture. Remember, I want you to keep the weight on the midfoot and the toes, never allowing your heels to strike on the ground. Performing these drills on an incline on the treadmill does add quite a bit of a stability effect and proprioception, which can help prepare you for the outdoor running even better. But if you need to build up to a higher amount of stabilization, you can perform both of the drills I'm going to teach you on the ground with the same form cues. The first drill I'm going to show you is called a high knee. So we're going to set the speed on the treadmill between two and a half and five depending on your comfort zone and then you can always adjust it as you go. When you're performing your high knees, make sure your heels never touch a treadmill, drive your knees as high as you can towards your chest, keep your core tight, shoulders back, head up, and keep your arms nice and relaxed. The next drill is a high knee skip on an incline on the treadmill where you're gonna push off with one foot, drive one knee up towards your chest while you reach the opposite hand towards the ceiling, nice and relaxed. As I mentioned before, these two drills require a lot of stability, but they also increase your stabilization as well. If you're not ready to start on the treadmill yet, that's totally fine. You can always start on the ground and build your way up to the treadmill. You can do these in place or you can do them with a forward motion. Same thing with your high knee skips. You can do them in one place or you can do them with a forward moving motion as well. Thanks for watching our agility and running form follow-up video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome exercise instructional videos like this and more motivational videos every week. Feel free to comment below on any requests that you have for us as well. 